the music. Ah, there we go. Oh my god, there's an upside down lady in here. Holy shit. Yeah. She crawls across the table. I see this. That would be actually epic. Oh. To actually have some... I'm actually going to go in here. To where that room was that I said I felt energy. <sighs> Alright. Alright guys. So you guys know how to roll. I'm going to go ahead and... That one goes fast. That one won't turn off. All right. So we have the flashlight on. So I can see. Is there any energy in here with me or any spirits in here with me? Turn that light off. I got distortion. All right. Can you turn on one of them spirit balls for me? A little stuffy. Oh my goodness. Ooh. There's energy in here because the flashlight just, uh, my flashlight just did its own little thing. Are you? No. That was not me that made that noise. All right, so I have three spirit balls in here. Something's messing with the flashlight. No movement on the floor, nothing touches the door, and this door just passed. I heard it. I thought that was you. Yeah, that's why I asked it is you. Just walk past two. There's no response. I have the spirit balls in here, so we shall see what's going on. I'm trying to get this like situated. All right. Right? I'm trying to get my stuff situated. I'm just trying to get the light there. Because there's certain temperature. <laughs> that thing is. <laughs> Are there any spirits in here with me? It's okay to turn on them balls. All you gotta do is just touch them a little bit. And I'll show you guys again where they're at. One's right here. See, that's all you guys gotta do is just touch them. Oh my god, this one's like trying to roll away. Oh my god, I want to roll. Okay, we can do that. Just knock it off? Uh, it, it fell. All right, as you guys can see, and then the other two are on the the counter over there. I'm only gonna spend like a few more minutes in this room, and then I'm gonna go to the other one. I'm getting like dizzyish. I didn't even see that room. Orbs. Like the 
certain colored things. That was David opening up a door. All right. Damn, something he's messing with my flashlight. There you go. Do what uh, Brad did. It doesn't want to sit up. It doesn't have any flat edges. Focus. There's any spirits in here with us. Can you turn on those spirit balls, please? That's the uh, heater. Ooh. Creepy dog. That was me. Both dogs. Does that look more familiar to you? If so, can you hit one of those devices, please? I'm not here to hurt you. I'm just here to talk to you. So what y'all's names? Anybody want to talk? I would love to hear your story. I know you, what oh, did you hear that? It sounded like a lady. But I don't know if that was outside. I don't know if it was outside, if it was the radiator, or if it was just an echo. Me out more than a freaking hospital in California. You know that? <laughs> and it's not because of all the gore and everything, it's just the energy of the building. Yeah, 
cops are cool, they don't... I mean, they're meant to scare people, but they're not, like, over the top. Okay, it's like the whistling. That was the radio. Yeah, that's, that's the radio. It's whistling. I'm going to sit in here with you guys for a few minutes. If anybody wants to speak, go ahead and light up the balls for me. I did feel the energy uh, when I came in here the first time. that one ball over there when I put it over there it came back on so like I said this is also sometimes when these things don't work so to debunk the timer theory this is living proof that these things are not on timers because if they were they'd actually be going off right now first one to be deployed was the, bottom, the one in the bottom left hand of the frame and it hasn't gone off since you put it down. Exactly. So the whole timer theory, I don't feel that that's even a thing. Like I said, if they were on timers, they'd be going off right now. And they've been sitting here, what, for... A good, what does it say on the camera? Six minutes and ten seconds. Yeah. Again, that's web in the background. Again, I did, I did want all random noises. So, when I go back and listen. Alright. Spirits yeah. are... K2 hasn't gone off, the balls haven't since you dropped them, yeah. and to be honest, you're not going to get a whole lot to get between the background noise and those freaking right. radiators. That's going to seep anything we did. Unless we had a great big dramatic gesture, make the K2 go to red. Can you do that? Can you mess with the K2 for me? It's real simple. It, it measures electromagnetic fields. So, that's stuff that has energy. Oh, there you go. go off. Off. Huh? So that also debunks uh, electronic theories too. So, just saying. I'm gonna turn on the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on my phone just to see if that'll do anything for it. It's not. Oh, here we go, a little bit. There you go. All right, there you go. See what he's doing? Can you guys do that for me? See, I almost got to touch the... Oh, not doing anything. No, it's not doing anything. Maybe they understood. See, all these toys are going to do is just light up. That's all they do. They're not going to hurt you. Can you make it, the lights on the K2 go up like it was a second ago? We need our power. It's very... Hey, you. You just smell smoke. As in fire smoke? Or As in, I don't know. As no. in, like, I no. do have cigarette butts. I don't think it's that, because I smell it in the hallway. Um. <sighs> that's good for a walk. It does feel pretty freaking hot in here. Well, that's for the bees. You don't, you don't have to leave right now, just when you go back into the hallway. Let's go. I can leave this in here and let it do its thing. Okay. Well, the little girl was back in, this, in the dark maze entrance, right? What? The little blonde girl, Carol Ann. Yeah. She was behind the red. Yeah, she was up there okay. in that corner. That's so, not even yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave this by itself and we're gonna go find something. Double check the hallway. I just wanna walk up to grab it and then when I came back up to where I was all aware, I was like, it smells like almost like the wind's been blowing. Alright, I'm gonna start filming from right here so that everything's recorded.
session in here and go to the next Scare? What was that? What? I just had a little, almost like a. Next to the baby's head? Yeah, it was like a little orb type thing. Wow. I didn't even hear that. Is there a spirit in here with us? What? Want me talking? No, uh, we're down here talking about Leslie's germ. Something just moved in the room and we were all in the hallway. Nice. It's chasing us. It's 
Circling. Circling. Good evening, spirits. We're not here to hurt you. We're just here to talk to you. Hey, I have a cold. Yeah, so what we did was uh, psychic. we had a psychic and the local police sketch artist. We had uh -huh. them get together up here and meet, and they would, they would talk to the, the psychic and describe the people in the sketch artist who were sketching. Uh, we actually have one for, we have one for a whole bunch of the spirits up here. This is the only one we still have. Kind of like his because he's pretty active, yeah. Um, he's the one that you can watch that you be able to watch walk back and forth. Unfortunately, the light out there is way too bright to still do that. Meep. Meep. 
But can we turn on the cat balls for me? My little spirit balls that I got over there. Can we turn them on, please? All you gotta do is do this. That's all you gotta do. Let's do this. All you gotta do is just touch them. And they go off. I mean, I don't know if you guys were making them go off while I wasn't in here, but that's all you guys gotta do. It's so simple. When you were in there, you guys want me to stay right here? It said, so you feel comfortable? Your name, by the way. Oh, yeah. It said, don't do it. Well, too late. How about when they came out? Don't do it. Uh, okay. Don't do what? It just said, don't do it. Is there any spirits that are stuck in here? As you can see, nothing seems to be. You guys can communicate with us. It's really okay. And I don't get rude with spirits. That's just not, that's not who I am. If you guys want to speak, you speak. If you don't, you don't. That's on you. That's why you, whatever you guys are comfortable with. But what's the name? What is, um, what year is it to you guys? Alright guys, and your 10, se 10 minute segments in each little area. Did you take a picture, Mom? No. I just heard a shutter sound coming down the steps. Ooh, a little bit actually. That sounds fun. I definitely don't want the ghost taking our picture. That'd be weird. I don't want to know where those pictures would end up. The ghost are dead? <laughs> the ghost are okay. So these are the actual blueprints. Yeah, I see that. That's pretty cool. Camera. Wow. Oh wow, you guys use the uh, the sheets to the rooms. Yeah. That was actually. Oh, I can scan that document. What? Oh no! Don't do that. Tap to scan. It's too late. Well, you scanned it. Now you now you've Save. got a copy of it. Um. Okay. So. <laughs> This is obviously, this was all maintenance area right. for the hospital. Hence the blueprints. Uh, this is another area that's actually pretty hard to investigate in, specifically because um, as we go over there, EMF will start to go crazy because that's where the power lines come in. That's where the breakers are. And this is where the boiler is. So whatever the boiler kicks on, makes a lot of loud noise and it will ruin any Recordings are taking. So where's that? Uh... Oh, we'll get there. Oh. I know what you're asking about. We'll get there. Okay. Don't worry. I won't jump you on. I just want to take something here first. I'm assuming that it's the the torture chair. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get there. Wow. Holy mother. Whew. Yeah. So this is the boiler. Welcome to hell. So if you ever get cold, you can just come down here. That. Welcome to hell. Oh my God. What did you say yeah, we have to keep it. We have a we have a kitchen running. We have to keep it. We have to keep it nice and hot. But yeah, it does suck. I don't want to stay in here long. Yeah, no, we don't. We don't stay here long. Uh, but this thing, yeah. Sorry. If you go all the way to the back, you can see the uh, the original uh, coal burning uh, boiler. That was really running. I just had to get this one to stay. And right here, we have one of the two uh, little incinerators. I'm really, I'm really glad there wasn't a raccoon in there. Now, this is like a... This is where they burn stuff. Yeah. yeah. AKA, there might be bone chips in there. There could be. Uh, I think these were mostly, these incinerators were mostly used for documents. Right. Being that small, most likely, but you never know. But uh, maybe amputations. Maybe. Because they, they, they do incinerate small parts. So yeah, there could be buried in there. So this is the current working boiler. Maybe this is actually. Yeah, this is the original one. Good old key line. 
Oh wow, this is where the uh Wow. Do you think that at one point they would throw unwanted bodies in there? Probably not. No? Definitely not. No, not at all. There's actually not even that much room in there. That's perfect enough for him, just saying. What? Oh, you could definitely have one. You could put oh, a... Oh, no, yeah, you could. That's what I like. You could put a body in there. Yeah, you could, but like... Just make sure, you know, take a couple pictures. Did you hear that? I did. did. What was that? It was something in that corner. Oh, is... Is one of them coming down the stairs? No. Because that's the staircase. I highly doubt it. So I, I doubt, doubt it too, but it's possible... I he, highly doubt he knows we're in the basement. He might he, not, but he, he doesn't know where the basement is. Now, you look just randomly in the basement and wander around the hospital. Yeah, he has one touch though. Oh yeah, you know how your hand will be seared to it. It's not that kind of hospital anymore. Well, you will have to... So there's a story, I don't know if it's true, but supposedly years and years and years and years ago, uh, one of the maintenance guys committed suicide down here. That's why I felt heaviness. I don't know if it's actually true because we've never gotten any kind of real You're not going to. You're it's not just... going to. But I felt some type of weirdness when I got, as soon as I... Yeah. But I did feel an It was one of those, it specifically was one of those urban myths that like the nursing staff would like tell themselves. They had a lot of those. So there a lot of the stories you have to like, was that true or was that right. just like, you know, bored hospital staff telling ghost stories because they know the place is haunted. Which happens a lot. I'll be honest, I'm not going to be down here a lot. It's too damn hot. Oh, it's it very is. Hot. Um, it's really nice though in the winter because everywhere else is ice cold. And then you come down here and it's nice and warm. Alright, so recharge the lights then. Mm -hmm. Alright. That was her. Okay. So oh. say, was that? Actually that was me burping probably. So some we have the telecommunication in there. Hold on guys. Old lights that used to hang over the beds, the operating beds. There are operating lights over there. Yes. Oh, dope. I, that that kind of stuff fascinates me. Yeah, it's all real cool. I like that old medical equipment. I yeah. do too. Break room. Yeah, little. It's a nice little hangout spot. This is a, a. This is probably one of the few places down here that it is okay to do an EVP, and it's far enough away. From the boiler that is not and you get enough concrete walls too loud and K2, so. yeah i've done a few down in here uh there is also mice though so right so just be aware of that uh because we had one once while i was doing we were trying to do a uh avp and everyone started freaking out because i saw like glowing eyes out there on the floor <laughs> it was a mouse so is this something you guys fashioned, or was that an actual no. replica? No, I'd say uh, it is. A, that is a paintball Gatling gun. That's actually. Oh, I figured the Gatling gun part. Yeah. Just with the box on it, I thought maybe it was like a, a Civil War replica. Nah. No, nah, but a shop paintballs. We used to. Uh, we there used to be a, a local like youth robotics club that would actually uh they actually rented out this whole basement area as their workshop all right i'm smelling burning again it's probably just my flesh because of how hot it is down here <laughs> right. smell like that I, i'm wearing shorts under my pants i got meat falling off the bone <laughs> your ghosts are going to be well fed tonight well that's good i haven't fed them in a long time The ball. Mm -hmm. There are any spirits down here. There's a green ball over there. Feel free to play with it. And something All right. Uh, finally, who here wants to be employee of the month? Yeah. Sweet. 
Is this my room? Oh my god. Epic. That's where the chair is. Where? Down that, you see that little channel? Are you serious right you now? You gotta walk all the way back. I'm good. This is what it looks like. Yo. You can if you want. If Bring you wanna go back there, I'll take you back there. Shh. This looks, this seriously feels like someone was uh, held captive down here against their will. Um, that's the, that's the theory. So, one thing I do want to mention, be careful about which pipes you touch. Yeah, I'm not going to touch any pipes at all. Right. I'm not going any further back than this. I don't like to be a whole fuck that. Oh yeah, it's real hoodie yeah. down here. So, one of the things, <sighs> every time I've brought people down here, no matter how dead it is, we always hear loud voices. I can't, I can't go back there. I don't blame you. <laughs> there's, uh, so there's, the, there's obviously the chair, which I'm sure... I'm sure you've been told about. Mm -hmm. There is also behind it a large six-foot wooden box with a big that used the latch is that rusted and broken. Unfortunately, it had a big giant latch on it. Someone was held back there against their will. I can't go back there. I'm pretty sure. Uh, we're pretty sure about that. But again, we've got no confirmation. Also, I'm I'm confirming it for you right now. One Someone of the was last back there. one of the last groups that we took down here. When we were leaving, we all heard a really, really loud noise as we, right as we got to the door. That noise was this brick. That came from the back. It came from over there. Someone threw it forward. It, yeah. Either what's interesting is it came from the opposite direction we were. The noise we heard was it hitting the pipe. It hit the pipe and it landed in the doorway. Wow. That's dust, y'all. That ain't no damn worms. That's dust. I... It... There's at least two spirits in there. It at was least... thrown hard, too. There's at least two spirits in there. One was captive, and I think the other one might have been the captor. Because... Uh, I can tell you there's at least three things in there. I only know what I felt. I can't yeah. go any further. I don't I don't blame you. It's really... Some, some days it's Whoa. not so bad. That's, okay. that's the boiler. Yeah, it makes all kinds of weird noises. Um. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, so that crawl space that we saw back there, it's not technically connected. We consider it a separate basement because it has a separate entrance on the outside of the building. But there is a crawled path that you can go to to connect, to get to the two. But that doesn't feel like that. Yeah, I well, you, you didn't go that. into that one. I can tell you just from opening it, that doesn't have that same kind of oomph as that. Yeah, well, it so... Went, that, went, that went from creepy to suffocating. Yeah, so, both of these. Both of these, two basements. Um, there's obviously whatever is going on with the chair and the box. There's also another... There's another thing that people have seen down there that looks like... Um, you have fun with that, I can't go in there. I'm not asking you to. It looks like a, like a pale emaciated human that crawls around on all fours. I'm not worried about that one. I can feel the trauma that happened back there. That's not... Anything else that has been attracted to that was brought there by the darkness that happened back in that fucking corner. I don't know precisely what happened. I know someone was there against their will. And I know that I can't go back there because that's too traumatic. That's the boiler kick on. <laughs> All right, so I put the those around this rock that was thrown. You got that? I'm sorry, I gotta go back upstairs. All right. I can't be down here with that door is open. All right, baby. Is there anything that wants to communicate with us? Are you stuck back there? And is there a certain spot that you cannot go and that's why you threw the rock? I mean, I would go back there, but... I just had an orb come at my phone. And there's no dust. You said this door opens at the end of the hall? Yeah, you just gotta undo the deadbolt. Uh, be careful with it though, because it will slam shut. It won't lock on you, but it will slam pretty hard. 
Yeah, he's a very uh, strong, sensitive. So whenever he feels, uh, and he gets away from it as quick as he does, I know it's serious. Is that normal? Yeah. Is there any spirits that want to speak to us? All you gotta do is just go to those. I can't even speak. <laughs> oh my gosh. Everybody knows when I get, when I stumble across my words, they know something's up. What's down here with me? Can you give me a name? A lot of the energy I'm feeling is more personal energy, like from the building itself, mm -hmm. more in, in the more of the the history and more of the actual building and basically the residual energy that's still here. That's what I'm feeling, is a lot of the residual energy. That's what I've been feeling all night. That's why I'm like, this room had something going on. Like, I can feel what he's feeling because it is getting heavy in here. Mm -hmm. It really is. Because it's getting to the point where I'm not being able to, like, breathe like normal. So... And just standing, and, and as you see, I'm just standing here, and in order for you not to be able to breathe, you have to, like, constantly walk up and down stairs and stuff. I would also say, this dust is nasty for you. It, yeah. This is some of the finest dust I've ever seen. Right. Because um, we have to run our airlines through here. Right. So when we do that, like... We'll get down and have like just a pound of dust on us and in our lungs. And... That's just crazy though. Here's a basement, guys. Here's a basement. That box, it, it's sticking out like that one right there. Mm -hmm. It's almost like, and I keep hearing shuffling. So, yeah. oh, this was okay. You know. See if it's detecting my flashlight. Might yeah, be. yeah, it's detecting my flashlight. Well, thank you for your responses. If you gave us any, I do appreciate it. Oh. All right. Well, that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> I have, it's going to, okay, that's because of that, okay. Yeah, we're, once you get back up here. It, yeah. Because, it is interesting because once you get down there, it stops being constant. That shit's crazy though. 